Welcome everyone to That's the Humps of Jill Weekly. Look at all the highlights from the KFC Queensland Premier Cricket Competition. My name is Lee Drennan. Let's get into it. We are back with two-day cricket this week and we're going to start off with a fixture between Redlands and South. And it was led by an Aryan Jane 100 and Simon Malenko again in the wickets. Here's the moment Jane brought up his 100. Now Simon Malenko leads the competition wicket tally with 39. He also bowled his 12,000th over for the season on the weekend. So an amazing achievement. 100 Stephen Giffen and more runs to Sam Truloff in the fixture between Valleys and West. West had a good batting day here. There is McGiffen. And Truloff now also equally well bowled to Zandon and Jay. Picked up these quality two wickets here. Bowled there. And a sharp piece of work behind the stumps by Lachlan Pfeffer. Now, Jackson Smith, what a weekend he had. You are about to see that in action. Gold Coast would be happy with their day. Bowling out Sandgate for 172. What about that delivery? Great time also to mention that KFC delivers on the KFC app. Jet Lebke, that is. Six. There's also a really good piece of wicket keeping. Lockie Aitken, that is. his young fella, so no Aitken pains to look after. Oh, my goodness. And we finish with the wicket to Dean Harbour, which gives Sandgate a great bit of momentum at the back end of the day. Now, this was a 2020 semi-final. The grand final will be this weekend, and you can see it's a commanding performance by the Gold Coast. Commentators take you through it. The lap, and that's well executed. That is going to kick along to the boundary on mid-off and cover up. And but <laughs> Double yeah, bluff worked. Well, yes. And, and well bowled. Big win to Gold Coast. They will meet Sunshine Coast at the Gabba this Sunday. Across in the Catherine Raymond Shield. Well, this is a great performance by Gold Coast. They batted first. Tara Wheeler, that is one shot. And that was four for Carly Fuller. Jess Jonathan played her first game for Valleys. The late wicket there to Carly Fuller. And then this one to Courtney Sipple. And the Gold Coast just had too many on the board for Valleys. And then in round 21, well, this is a commanding performance by Grace Harris. But there's a lovely moment here where Jess Jonathan captures her first wicket for Valleys. Sit back and enjoy these couple of shots. Now, Megan Dixon also had wonderful figures. She was 3 for 11 off 3.3 overs at the end. Well done to Western Suburbs in that game. Thank you so much, as always, guys, for watching the Week 15 edition of That Stumps. It's brought to you by Queensland Premier Cricket Sponsors, KFC, Skyfleet Motors and Kookaburra.